Hey, how is everyone doing? All right, so today we are gonna learn how to build soundproof windows. If you have any comments or anything you wanna learn about how to soundproof your home studio or freaking soundproof a room, leave some comments below. I'd love to know what you guys wanna learn about. But today, if you're like me and you were trying to figure out how to make a soundproof window and you read everything on the internet there was to offer and were still confused, this video is for you. All right, let's dive in. So I'm gonna do a basic overview of the concepts behind soundproofing with windows, some basic science, but I'm not gonna go in deep. If you're like me and you've read some of these textbooks, it's like just a freaking headache trying to understand what they're trying to say. I'm not all about that. I'm about getting things done, building a soundproof studio and getting on with your life and not being a nerd about it. Well, maybe a little bit nerdy. So anyways, let's talk about the three different types of glass. Uh, scratch that, four different types of glass. So first off, we have float glass. Float glass is the typical glass you have in your home. So any sort of normal single pane window in your house is most likely float glass. Unfortunately, this glass is not the best for acoustics, which means that you're probably gonna wanna opt for something a little bit more expensive. I know, not exactly what we want, but when it comes to acoustics, you don't wanna skimp on your windows. Number two is tempered glass. Tempered glass is great for acoustics, the only problem is that it's a little more expensive, and if you nick it in the slightest way, it can completely shatter into a million pieces. Another side effect of using tempered glass is that technically you cannot recut it once you're at the job site, or if you wanted to change the size of the glass at some point, can't do it. It's once it's been made in the factory, it is done. So when you're building those custom windows, make sure you get the measurements exactly right. So for number three, we have laminate glass. And laminate glass is another great option for acoustics because it has a inner layer, a plastic inner layer that helps dampen the, the sound that comes through the window. There's a lot of physics behind this. Some of you might be in the comments being like, dude, you're not explaining this correctly. I don't really care. If it does the job, we don't need to get obsessed over the physics behind it. I know that's sort of contrary to a lot of these soundproofing books and things, but that's where I'm trying to take a stance is like, let's just make this easy. So the two types of glass you want to use are laminate glass or tempered glass. There's one other type of glass, which is plexiglass, and just don't even think about using it. It's terrible, it's cheap, it's not good for acoustics, and you should just write it off, don't even think about it. All right, so let's move on to some other basic concepts with your window design. So like everything related to soundproofing, there are three aspects that you wanna incorporate into your windows. And if you haven't seen some of my other videos, those are mass, sound transmission or isolation, and air. We wanna make sure it's airtight. Same thing goes for your windows. So you want your windows to have some mass, have some weight to them. To do this, you just get thicker windows. So the thicker the window, the better it's gonna be at acoustically isolating your window. And I will get to the exact thicknesses I recommend in a second, more on that later. Second, we wanna have that air gap. So if you're doing the double wall, which I recommend, and it's gonna give you the best isolation in your soundproof studio, then you're gonna naturally have about a nine inch air gap because of the three quarter inch studs on each side, plus the one inch air gap in between those studs, plus any amount of the drywall, the two layers of drywall that you have on either side of your wall. So this is gonna create a big air gap, which is great, that's exactly what we want. The bigger the air gap between your windows, the better the sound isolation is gonna be. Plain and simple, we're gonna keep it simple. I know I'm oversimplifying, but that's what I wanna do here. Lastly, we wanna make sure that your windows are airtight. So for me, I'm not planning on opening these windows. If you wanna open your windows, that's a whole nother can of worms that you gotta figure out, but regardless whether your window opens or it doesn't, you have to make sure that there's no air that's coming through any cracks around your window. So to do that, you have to seal it with acoustic caulk and whatever you can to make sure that no air can come from the outside window through your air gap into the inside window and into your soundproof room, which would no longer be soundproof. So that is just a basic understanding of the concept behind our windows. Now let's dive into actually how to build windows. And I'm gonna give you a simple tried and true method. The windows in my studio are freaking rock solid. I don't hear any sound coming through them. In fact, the weakest point in my entire room is the door. So these windows are awesome. They're not huge, but 
they do the job and they give me some much needed light in my studio. All right, so let's jump into the building side. So first off, let's talk about your glass. So you wanna get two panes of glass, one on the outside, one on the inside. Remember that this idea for windows could also apply to piece of glass in your actual control room so you can see through into your live room. Any sort of window that you wanna put in your studio, this is the construction process you wanna do. You can create your windows whatever size you want. They could be as big as you want, as small as you want. Remember the bigger the window, just physics, you're gonna have more bleed of sound through. So I decided to go with smaller windows in my studio to try to minimize the amount of sound that would come through. That said, I think I could have gone a little bigger and probably I would be just fine just because these windows and this process works really well. We're gonna start out by putting a 3 8 inch tempered glass pane on the inside of your studio. So I'm gonna say that one more time, 3 8 inch tempered glass on the inside. Then you wanna use half inch laminate glass on the outside. So that's half inch laminate gl glass on the outside. So we have three, eight in three eighths inch tempered glass on the inside and half inch laminate glass on the outside. Honestly, I think you could flip flop those however you want. The main important thing is that you have two different sizes of glass and we even have two different types of glass to help reduce the coincidence frequencies and acoustic holes, which I'm not even gonna go into, but just know that by doing it this way, you are getting better acoustic isolation than if you did it any other way. All right, moving on, let's talk about how to actually install these pieces of glass, because your window is technically just a piece of glass at this point, you're just buying glass, and then we're gonna actually build our window frame. So to do that, we just took one by inch by three inch blocks of wood and we drilled them in so that there was enough space between the drywall and our inside wall and the outside of the building. Uh, in this case, we were actually outside. Um, you might be putting this window inside your studio, in which case you would still have drywall on both sides of the windows. But you put these blocks so that the window can sit up against the block. And then we used two different methods. So for the outside, we originally used silicone. And you can see in this video, Henry is just placing the silicone around on the actual blocks and then sticking the window to the silicone, which created a nice airtight gap. And then he used silicone around the outside to then create another gap that the trim on the outside could push up against the window. This worked great. On the inside, we did another trick, which was kind of interesting. Uh, and this is kind of the genius that is uh, Henry Tom Thomas, my contractor, who is awesome. You guys should definitely work with him if you're in Nashville. And uh, he got roofing tape, which has a double-sided stickiness to it. And it was perfect to put around the edge of our blocking so that we could then stick the window to the roofing tapes to hold it in place. Then what I did is I took acoustic caulk and I caulked all around the window to make sure that it was airtight. And then on top of that, just to give it even more of a tightness around it, we did silicone around that edge of the window um, and then finally we put wood trim over top of the windows and that silicone pushes up against the wood trim so that you get a really nice flush. No air is coming through there. It's completely solid. Now, the last part of this that we wanna talk about is the space in between your windows. So before you put on the inside windows, you wanna make sure that you put some I'd use rock wool insulation that I had left over from some of my builds earlier. Um, and rock wool has good acoustic properties, but it also works as a fire stop. It's just really great overall. And we put that in our air gap. I just stuffed it in my air gap around my two walls. So technically this is connecting the two walls, but with the insulation, it's not a, a very rigid connection. And then I put some fabric. We use like painter's cloth. You can use any fabric you like, something that looks a little nicer. Um, and we stapled that fabric over the insulation to create a nice looking finish. And we tried our best not to connect the two walls. You technically can do this um, in the Rodger Weiss book. You know, I did look at that recently and notice that he says you can connect, you know, with a piece of wood and actually frame out your window. But I'm like, you know, this system works great and we did not actually uh, connect our two walls, um, except with a little piece of trim so we put that fabric down around on the insulation and then we put trim around to uh, connect, to make it just look a little cleaner in the end. And like I said, the windows never fog. There's no um, condensation in them. 
it sounds great you can't I can't hear anything from the outside uh, and I got beautiful light in my studio so if you have any questions this is just a quick overview of how to build your windows if you want to learn more I have a free soundproofing course in the description below I'm planning on building a full soundproofing course so if you ever want to take that please let me know but definitely sign up for that free one um, there's also a link if you want to take your studio to the next level I have a course on how to set up a home studio acoustic treatment how to set up your speakers what gear to buy all the things that will take any home studio to the next level if you're at all interested in that you can check out the link below as well until next Tuesday my friends I will see you later. I hope this was helpful. Again, let me know what you want to learn in the comments. I'm here to help. I just did this myself. I'm just a normal, regular old producer like you. So if I can do it, you can do it. I'll see you next week.